I, ha I have to stress this. The level of martial arts in this movie is freaking amazing. Film is good. Let's start there. I think that's a very key place to start because people are like, okay, is it good? It's good. This is a good film. And when you just look at the MCU, whereas I'll keep it with you, not a lot of MCU films are like, this is 100% one of the best films in the MCU, for, for sure. Like, coming out of it, there was like, there's no, there are not many issues I have with this film. Like, you can look at Iron Man 2, all the freaking Thor films, um, freaking um, Black Widow, Captain Marvel. There are a lot of brick MC films that are out there. But this is one where like, no, 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 this is actually pretty damn, damn good. Um, so obviously this is going to be non-spoiler and, and so forth. And I think what really stands out in this film is the action. Like, let's just start it there. Like, I think the other good bits, but I think what stands out is the action. The quality of action, the execution of the action, I think is absolutely insane. Um, because I, because I want to make sure that I've actually the, the name of, of the actor here. Because the level of action in this thing and how well it's done is freaking insane. Absolutely freaking insane. I'm saying Shang-Chi director, man. Um the hell so yes dan destin daniel Cretton. basically the director destin daniel Cretton. he did um i believe he did what did he do he did i think this is it just cause basically he did the film with michael b jordan and jimmy fox where like a guy wrongfully convicted and so forth going to jail i think he, he directed that but the because see my thing is i'm a massive martial arts junkie and i'm a massive massive fan of action films and for me i take action films very seriously because action is just not just about guys doing action stuff no there is a particular discipline and there is a quality that is required when you're trying to execute action and you have to do it properly i'm not i'm not a lot of guys know how to actually do it in the proper sense man. but i cannot speak enough as to just how incredible these action scenes are. Like, thinking about it, because look at some of the best pieces of action you've seen in the MC. I think the only standard is Winter Soldier. Like, Winter Soldier is the best action um, you've seen in an MC film. For me, this, this, this beats the Winter Soldier. It does. It does. Because I'm just thinking of, there's a scene that happens on the, on the, the bus. And I'm, I'm going to say one word, bamboo. You'll know it, bamboo. Then you know, once you see that scene that involves bamboo sticks and so forth, you're like, "What? This is just incredible." So for me, the action just pops off beautifully, and I mean, shout out to your boy, Destin Daniel Cretton for I just think what is an absolutely outstanding job. Because my thing is, doing good action is not just about having a great fight choreographer or having great martial artists. And Simu Lu, the the actor, does a superb job. But it's also about the director as well. Like, people have complained about the Bond series. And the thing about the, the freaking Bond series is, guys, say, wait a minute, we, we've done so much of this amazing action and so forth, we can't see anything. So, freaking Paul Greengrass, you freaking psychopath, can we please allow us to actually freaking see some stuff on some fighting? Um, so, yeah, action is... you. There were... The, I've watched loads of action films and there are times when you'll be like, whoa, wow, what the hell, the hell? So, all the freaking shame. But if action was the only thing, then the film will, will be pretty, pretty thin. There is a great, great chemistry between the two leads. That was, of course, is Simu Lu, who's, of course, pretty strong, Chi. And I forgot what the name, the name the, um, her, her name in the actual thing. This name or something. It's Okofina, who obviously plays the female love interest and sort of the good friend and girlfriend of Simu Lu in the film. They have great chemistry, superb chemistry. I think. See, because for me, my thing is my issue with a lot of MC films that the jokes seem forced and they'll just seem a bit too on the nose. This 
the jokes just seemed very effortless. Like it was funny, it was amusing. The most of the day jokes landed, they were in the right time. And just the general mood of everything, it just it was just it was really, really good, man. It was really good. So I just thought they led it very well, man. But look, man, everything starts with the lead. And Simulu was really good in this, you know, because I think it's funny, I was watching an interview. And I've forgotten what his name is. It's the, the guy who is like the Asian guy, half Asian, half white guy who is in Monster Combat as the new guy. He was up for this role. And I was like, oh, you know, he could have been interesting. But seeing Simulu in this, I mean, this is a star. Because not only how well he delivers the action, his physicality, the fluidity of his physicality with regards to how he's pulling off the moves, but it's his acting as well. Like, he's just a really good lead because it's just something... He's how he has a very likable personality, and just how he carries himself, how he delivers the lines, and just his general character. Like, oh no, no, this actually seems like a really cool guy you can really connect with. So he did very well leading the whole line. Chance your boy Tony Lung. You see, forget the Departed, because remember, Departed was a remake, and not a very good remake of um, Infernal Affairs, and of course, Infernal Affairs starred. Um, one of the words, Tony, Tony Lung. So I know him from that movie, the Hong Kong film. And he was really good in this. You know, him obviously playing the role of um, Simulu's father and so forth. He was really, really good. And I think the dynamic between him and Simulu worked really well. So he played a great villain with regards to just his acting, his aura, and just the kind of atmosphere that he he, he built so whenever he was on on screen. Um, but look, because I want to just give this non-spoiler, man. Um just, it's just, it was just a really fun film. Very good pacing, interesting story, obviously story about family and so forth. Great character interactions. The comedy worked really, really well. The, my only criticism was the end scene. Because obviously there's like a massive end spectacle and so forth where things get crazy. And I thought that, you know, the CGI was pretty good, but it may have seemed a bit over the top for me, you know, it didn't take anything away from the film, but maybe the situation would just seem a little bit over the top for me. But apart from that, I think for me, that is really my only criticism. Apart from that, this, I was like, no, this is a really good, good film. And my thing is, the film hangs its hat. It's a martial arts film. So let's keep it real. Of course, you have to have a good story, a good structure, but it's a martial arts film. So it will always live and die based on how good the martial arts is. And guys, I, I have to stress this. The level of martial arts in this movie is freaking amazing. It is freaking amazing because my it's not it's not just only the martial arts, it's the set pieces and how well the director Daniel Daniel Cretton actually is able to make very complicated things happen very simply well. So it's like in the hands of a lesser director, you would be confused because like, okay, what's 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 happening? But because he's such a good director, he makes something that should look confusing, able to make sense. You're like, okay, well, actually, no, he did that, 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 and this. And just, bro, some of the sequences in this, you're like, oh, whoa, how the... Like, already right now, th like, this is by far... It's similar to Wesley Snipes in Blade. Where, like, for me, that's still the hardest hits in main character that we've ever seen like um in like a comic book film but he may have he may no no one's surpassed nice but this simulu comes close because it's like as i'm watching this now i'm like oh no no this guy's a problem <laughs> this guy is a freaking problem he was a problem without the, having the, the the freaking rings man um but um and also i forgot to, i think it's it's kelly cool it's, it's there's there's the other character who i think was in Crouch and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. She also plays a role in this, and she's she, she's good as well, man. But yeah, um, no, I get it. Overall, a good film. Overall, a very good good film that doesn't because sometimes with MC films, and this is my argument with this MC films that I, I detract is some of the whole world universe building can break it down because they want to just combine things too much. But what I like is this film's allowed to breathe and stand on it on its own. For the for the most part, which I think is really good, man. But yeah, no, look, man. I mean, I this is a huge big recommendation for for me, man. Like, hundred percent, go out, watch this movie because it is impossible for you not to enjoy this film. Like, even my the only issue I have with the film isn't that big an issue. 
you know like so, okay it's a bit over the top but even if the cj was over the top and i wouldn't have done that kind of end sequence i'd have thought of something a bit more creative or be much more smaller it wasn't like bad it wasn't horrible it was just oh that's a bit crazy but it was still done pretty well and the cj was handled like a lot better than what we saw in black panther where the, the cg was, was crazy man but no look it's um like you know i mean because i'm just think i'm thinking about just some of the action scenes now like like <laughs> just some of the moves this guy pulled off and the way that he was able just to make things happen in such close quarters and what he was having to deal with and the dynamism of things is like oh lord i mean and it's, it's, it says everything great action really good comedy that that lands the comedy isn't cringe it isn't forced it flows well it's organic very well paced very well structured so you don't have scenes that drag scenes go from one scene to another to another scene so as a whole this the film breathes very well you don't feel like if you're um a scene play um plays that is, it's welcome too much subject like you see for me when captain america is still that freaking dude and so forth but this is this is up there this is up there as definitely one of the top um, um marvel films out there man see my shang chi Still a freaking approval, bro.